fast ship. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hello and welcome to the Brick Creek. I know, it took a long time, but I finished it. The Mold King Millennium Falcon, model number 21026, 12,688 pieces. I know, this is instruction B. We have two of these thick, thick books. And in total we have 1840 building steps. 12,688 pieces. This is a stolen mock, like mostly from Old King. So we have three links in the description. One goes to the shop where you can buy it, the other goes to the original designer, and the third one goes to a video that is called Inside the Millennium Falcon, a 3D concept um, tour through the Millennium Falcon that shows you what get rid of in the exterior over the years to make it faster and, and more sleeky and it shows you the interior because this has an interior and so you can look if this is real. You see the pictures of it in the beginning. I will then take now. I hope <laughs> I hope everything works out uh, but I make the the pictures after this video. Sorry, because you've seen building step 1 and 2 and then you get the review and no building step three, 3 and 4, no videos to the building steps or, or to the rest of the building steps. The reason is in between, I was nearly finished with uh, the third video of assembly and then there was a bag missing. One bag was double and one was missing and then it took 14 days or 16 days to get the missing parts. In that time I started already other projects and I wanted to finish the other projects. And so the Falcon here was a long time in the cellar, in the basement. And this week I was ready to finish it. Okay, you've seen the pictures, you've seen the uh, the scale or the the measures, the width, the height, the length, and so on. 
After the first video, that was really funny, somebody uh, wrote it, that looks like the Lego Falcon. First, no, it looks like a Millennium Falcon. Yeah, you're right. But this thing here is totally different. Totally different to the Lego Falcon. Because <laughs> we have no landing gear. This here is on one stand in the middle, two stands in the back with the, the weight bricks and transparent bricks, so two pillars in the back, one pillar in the middle and two pillars in the front. Because if you leave the pillars away, it will bend mostly forward to the right where the cockpit is, because I believe here is the heaviest point, uh, but it will bend. And I'm not sure if you are using this without the pillars over a long period, I don't know if he's holding or if he crashes down. If I were you, use the pillars. I would use it. I have to sell it because I don't have the room. Uh, I thought perhaps I can bring it somewhere in the living room to my opinion. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean, to, to bring it on a, on a cool place, but no possibility, no possibility. The only place is behind the couch, and behind the couch, the girls with the hairs, or I with my arm, the dog. When I stand, if I put it on this shelf, it will be, after three months, half of the thing here is missing. Okay, we have double the size, or double, nearly double, the amount of pieces to the Lego version because this here is much more detailed and much more small pieces to build it. Perhaps the weight could be nearly the same, I'm not totally sure. But they are looking, or the measures are close, very very close. The designer intended perhaps to, to have a minifig scale, but it is not minifig scale. Inside it's a little bit too cramped. Here the cockpit, that's minifig scale, so that's cool. You can put in here your Han Solo minifig and it looks very cool. But inside it's a little bit too small and not high enough. The interior is nice, but has a lot of design flaws. They are missing jumper blades, so you can't bring all on the pieces where it should... Some pieces laying only in there, because there's no jumper blade underneath. So it has a lot of small parts and pieces where you think, why? Why not use a jumper plate? Why do you spare the jumper plate on this or other things? So this is a set I'm not sure. I finished it yesterday and I'm not sure if I'm really happy with it or, or not. It has some really, really, really cool things and some really, really bad things. Let's start with the assembly. Uh, till building step 24 it is mostly a pleasure to assemble it. Really cool building techniques. You start here with the, the middle, then expand it and then building pieces and first the back, then the front. You assemble to everything they have, right? to the stand. Everything fine. But with building step 24 or with 22, 23, you have it here on the stand and then I should bring on pieces. But I don't have enough space here. I don't see a thing and I can't push from above against. So with building step 23 it got... I didn't like the assembly. Building step here I believe it's 28 or something. The middle part, not the upper middle part. Middle part from down. I was nearly giving up. To assemble this thing with that technique to the rest of the body, oh, I was really angry. Re not so angry with, with the Death Planet, but I was really angry. It was nearly impossible. Nothing is impossible, but it cost me a lot of nerves. But after that, it started to get better. And then you assembly all the pieces you see here. And they are only laying on here and this is the whole the rest of the set when you're finished everything here what you see on top it just lays there 
It just lays there, hold it by gravity. Nothing more. Nothing more. And for me that's strange. I admit for me that's that's strange. It, it, it holds, but uh, that's nothing for me. And we have a lot of gaps I don't like. Here is a gap. I could bring on the whole finger into the interior and with one 2x4 tile more in the set you can cover this. Why hadn't you... So, for you, you need two 1x2 blades and two 2x4 two tiles and then you can cover the gaps here. And the gaps here and the gaps here, mostly the gaps underneath. Over it's not good, but I can live with that. But the gaps underneath are some, uh, some are really horrible big. So better don't bring it onto a high point where you can look always from underneath. Bring it to a or place it on a table where you look mostly from above. Then you are more happy. Because I am a little Adrian. Adrian Monk. I'm only a little Adrian. But gaps or things that are not symmetrically uh, can bother me a little bit. Not so much as my daughter. <laughs> she would be... <laughs> but it bothers me a little bit. And every time I look at it, I see another gap. I ah, I want to close this, but when I want to close this, another gap gets open. So I'm not really happy with this. It looks good. It looks good. It is detailed much more than the Lego Falcon. Much more. But you really have to look from above. You really have to look from above. And the interior... Like I said, it should be mini fix scale, but everything looks crammed together and not high enough. And the building techniques in, inside. We have these tubes here, or this hose. And we are clipping uh, uh, with the modified blades things onto the hose and then bend the hose so we have a half circle. But I can't, what I attach to the hose on one point is a jumper plate but not on the other side. And they are straight and if I let loose the hose bends straight and I don't have the half circle. If I use hot air I can bend this here forever. Um, but I don't want to use a hot air or a blowtorch for a Legos, for a brick set. So, uh, I would like not having an interior, but better technique for the gaps. That would be what I prefer. But perhaps you say, okay, it's cool, I can open it very easily and I have interior and perhaps my child can play in it. Everything's possible. You can play with this thing. But I believe two or three hours with two or three childs, then some parts are missing. <laughs> and like I said, if you come too heavy against it, perhaps the pillars fall down and the thing starts to moving and perhaps it's crushing down. I don't know. I don't know. Are here, the, the air vents. They are really cool, much better than the Lego version, but they are not deep enough and a lot of such small things. But what is really cool on this set is the first, the first Mold King set ever I've seen with prints. Yes, we have two prints, one of the big dish, on the big dish, one on the small dish. And we have a print here, you've seen it on the photos too, one on this here and one on this here on the front dish and on the cockpit. And inside here is another dish under the cannon here. Uh, you see this? It's just... <laughs> That's everything. It's not holded. Only by gravity. Okay, but this dish here is printed too. So we have five printed pieces in a good quality Please, Mole King, make more. Make more. There are stickers inside. I didn't apply them or assemble them, apply them. 
they are mostly for the instruments. Here in the middle part, where the turret sits, is sitting, um, there are the instruments. The, the normal, uh, what are they called, slopes. Uh, they are always printed on Lego. Man, here, molking typical stickers, but I'm really happy they used prints here for that pieces, because a print here on a dish never looks good, or a print here on a dish or on the cockpit, they never look good, because you never get them totally straight. So I'm really happy about this. So molking is improving with prints and, and the rest of the quality here is really, really good. Instructions are absolutely okay, no problem with that, and the quality here is really, really good. A high, high clutch power, no missing pieces, no scratch tiles, nothing. This is a really, really, really good set. I don't know if it's worth to butcher it for the pieces, because you have a lot of small pieces, and the only thing I can think about what you can build here out of it is another another starship. But if you want to, bu to build a big starship and need nearly 30k on pieces, buy this and only for the pieces. You get a lot of good pieces. Not many bricks, more plates, wedge plates and so on. Like I said, perhaps for another spaceship or spacecraft, but you can't build a house out of this. Or a car or something. Okay. So, I'm... First, I, I, my attention was I, I, I show it to you and then I keep it and I sell my, my Lego version. It's, it's not original Lego, it's a, a clone, I know. Um, but the table is too big for the, the U of my couch and I want to get rid of this. And first I thought, I, I keep it, but I can't keep it. It's, it's, it's too... yeah. The other, the other, the Lego version inside my table is a better solution for me. So which would I prefer? I would prefer a clone of both of them. This here with landing gear and less gaps. That would be brilliant. That would be the best Millennium Falcon for me. I don't know what the best Millennium Falcon is for you, but for me this year with landing gear, a better interior and perhaps not so many gaps, then this would be a really, really nice, nice, nice spacecraft. Okay, if you have any questions I forgot to, to tell you or you're interested in other things, then write me comments. I always try to answer everything. I can't answer every comment, but I try. Okay. If you have detailed questions, write me an email. My email is standing in the channel info. So perhaps if you have a lot of questions, then write me better an email than in the comment sections. Okay. So please write me comments what you think about this set. I'm really curious. Um, what do you think about it? So now I try to make all the photos I need for my introduction, for the intro. So, two minutes of pictures. Okay. And then I have to carry it back to, into the basement and that's the creepy part. You can easily hold it here. But you don't have a good feeling carrying it around. You don't have a good feeling, let me tell you. I, I carried it yesterday upstairs here and uh, I didn't feel well doing this. I didn't feel well. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience that you have to wait five or six weeks to, to, to see the Millennium Falcon here in Finnish. Uh, thank you for your patience. I'm Frank, your Brick Freak, and I'll catch you in the next one.